Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are jumping right into Thanksgiving dishes. We gotta get ready this week. So we're gonna start off with the most important dish for Thanksgiving, which is macaroni and cheese, and that can make or break your family. So let's hop right into the video. First, you wanna start off boiling your noodles. Of course, everyone knows how to do this. Boil your water, throw some salt in, add in one whole box of macaroni or elbow noodles into the um, water, and then you're gonna let that cook until it becomes al dente. Then we're gonna move on to our cheese sauce. Now again, this is just how I like to make my macaroni and cheese. One of my favorite ways, I have multiple ways. It's to roux or not to roux? That is the question and I'm gonna roux it. So start off with one stick of butter. Add in one tablespoon of flour. Mix for about one to two minutes to get that flour taste out. And then once, you know, after two minutes have gone past, you're gonna put in four cups of milk. I like to pour in the milk two cups at a time. Um, you can do it slowly. And you wanna make sure the milk is cold. You can use heavy whipping cream, guys, if you want to, or you can use um, half and half. I, this, again, I have many ways to make macaroni and cheese. This is my favorite way. But once you pour that milk in, you want your sauce. You know I like a good slim thick sauce. I want it to be looking slim thick. So once it gets slim thick, I'm going to throw in my cheese. I'm going to throw in one box, a whole box of, I believe it's the, uh, is it eight ounces? I'm going to make sure I leave it in the description box below. Whole box of Velveeta cheese and then about 12 slices of American. Now I don't want to see in the comments, oh, you're using that cheap cheese. Maybe my taste buds are just cheap because I personally like the cheap cheese taste in macaroni and cheese for some reason. And sometimes I do like, you know, the expensive cheese, your Monterey Jacks, your Gouda. But my favorite cheese, macaroni and cheese, and macaroni and cheese is American and Velveeta and cheddar. Cheddar is not really a cheap cheese, but I just like that balance. I don't know. I just really like it for Thanksgiving. But once you pour your cheese in and your cheese is melting, you want to season it with some garlic powder, some black pepper, some, a splash of salt, some parsley, and some paprika for color. Mix that all around. Um, and then you can cut your stove off. I had my stove on a medium low heat the entire time. But once you add your seasonings in, your cheese has melted. We want to cut the stove off. And we are then going to prep to pour our cheese sauce onto our macaroni noodles that are just sitting on the side cooling down because we are going to crack an egg into our noodles. And what we don't want to do is as soon as the um, elbow macaroni, macaroni noodles are done, put the egg in and then that egg starts to cook in the noodles. So we want to wait for the noodles to cool down for a second. So allow this time while you're making your cheese sauce to let the noodles cool down because it only takes about seven minutes to boil the noodles and then we will put the egg in at right before we put the cheese sauce on so that way our egg is not cooking in our noodles and then we'll pull the cheese sauce on and to me on thanksgiving day thanksgiving day that is the best part of thanksgiving when you get the pouring that cheese sauce on the macaroni noodles that's how you know that it's about to go down like and then that cheese sauce get all up and through the noodles like you like you know you looking like oh yeah i, I did that <laughs> this macaroni about to be delicious um but you're gonna mix that all around and then you're gonna take a whole bag of you can use sharp cheddar cheese or you can use mild cheddar cheese i like to use sharp sharp shredded cheddar cheese and you're gonna th this is very important guys psa this is very important your cheese crust is almost as important as the macaroni itself so you want to sprinkle a whole bag of sharp cheddar cheese on top of the macaroni noodles just sprinkle it all around and make sure it's nice and even so that way when people come to your house on thanksgiving or if you're bringing this dish to their house on thanksgiving as soon as they lift that temple up and they see that cheese crust with that brown on top they're gonna be like oh who made the macaroni and cheese before even tasting it um so you want to do that and then you can add some more seasoning seasonings on top you can even add um some breadcrumbs on top of the macaroni put this in your oven for 45 minutes and 45 minutes later it should come out looking something like this girl go ahead and make this macaroni and cheese so you can get wiped up because your man is going to want to wife you up, up, up. 
Yes, Marty then got wiped up off her macaroni and cheese. <laughs> y'all saw that ring. <laughs> y'all better go ahead and make this macaroni and cheese. But y'all know presentation is everything. But on Thanksgiving, y'all know I really don't care about presentation. It just, it is what it is. Throw some parsley on that bad boy and then dig in and get that macaroni and cheese. I know y'all saw that. I know y'all saw how cheesy that... Woo, let it cool down first, y'all. Let it cool down. Don't be rushing into the macaroni and cheese. Let it sit for a minute. And then just throw a nice scoop of macaroni and cheese on your plate. And honestly, my favorite um, side dishes with macaroni and cheese is meatballs and green beans. And, you know, <laughs> once you get that ring, you're going to have to, like, let everybody see it. So even if you're not, like, left-handed, like, eat with your left hand so then they can see the ring by you eating. Um, but get, go ahead and make this macaroni and cheese, y'all, for Thanksgiving. So you can go ahead and get you, get you your ring. Because this is ring worthy, this macaroni and cheese. And you ain't even spend that much money on the macaroni and cheese making it. But, guys, I'm so excited for Thanksgiving. Y'all know this is my Bonnie's time to shine. I love Thanksgiving. I love the holidays. It's nothing more special than being around family and just having a good time and eating. But that's pretty much it, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys are washing your hands. And I will see you guys at my next video.